Yo, what's going on guys? So like I always say before these types of videos, if you need some advice on your relationship, your love life, your financials, etc., you can email me. That's at jamariadvice at gmail.com. Once again, that's jamariadvice at gmail.com. And you could have a chance to be featured on the next video. Also, if you just have a crazy story that you want to send me that happened recently or in the past, uh, feel free to send it there. I look forward to receiving y'all's emails, but for now, I have an email from this woman. She says, uh, Hi, Jamari. I've been watching your channel for about a year now, and I love your content. Well, I really appreciate that. I wanted to tell my story for the first time, and I would appreciate any advice you have for me. Well, hey, that's what I'm here for. So I'm 19, and I just graduated last year. Congratulations. That COVID graduation. I have never worked before because while in school, it would have been too much stress. But as of right now, my anxiety and depression hasn't gotten any better despite being free of my bullies and harsh teachers. Okay, so you're 19, you're one year removed from high school, or at least a couple months removed from high school, and uh, so far you feel like your life hasn't gotten better despite getting away from all those problems you were having in high school, your problems with anxiety and depression. So uh, overall, your life probably isn't amazing right now. I know during this time of COVID, the job market is sparse. A lot of people who have mental problems are really just going through it right now. I really feel for a lot of people out there. She says, I want to work, but I just don't know how to interact with people. I tend to look down instead of making eye contact. I stutter if I get too nervous, get shifty eyed and speak too low for people to hear me. Okay, so Basically, you're 19, you want to get a job, but you're having these problems with social anxiety. I think this would actually be a perfect time for me to tell a story about my little bout with uh, social anxiety. I went through about, yeah, my first 19 years of life, and I never had a problem with social anxiety in the slightest. You know, I played on a bunch of sports teams. I had a bunch of friends. I worked during high school. Like, I never had a problem with any sort of social anxiety. You know, all of a sudden, when I turned 19, about a year into college, I started having some uh, really, really bad problems with social anxiety. Like, I started really um, freaking out about almost any social situation. I think at the, the height of my anxiety, I was literally scared to go through the, uh, to go through drive throughs like fast food drive throughs because I was just scared of the social interaction. I don't know, something about it at the time, like, my brain was so fixated on, like, I guess I was gonna fuck it up or look stupid or just, I don't know, it seemed like the most impossible task in the world to talk to someone. And I know that those people out there, they've never experienced social anxiety. are probably thinking, you know, what the fuck? Why, why would you be such a pussy like that? But um, I don't know, it was really something unexplainable. And uh, I remember at the time I was spending, you know, excessive amounts of time completely by myself. I wasn't really talking to people that often, and uh, I wasn't a bit of a depressive state, much like you, you know, I was jobless, I was broke, and uh, college wasn't really going how I thought it was going to go, so it was, it was a tough time for me. You know, you say you're scared to get a job, but honestly, at the time, when I got that job and I was like 19, I think that that's really what pulled me out of my depression, it pulled me out of my social anxiety, and uh, it kind of made me feel human again. You know, for a while I was walking around, I didn't even feel like a human, like I, I couldn't interact with other people, it was very strange. So yeah, getting, getting a job actually really helped him, but let's see what she says. She says, it's been like this for years, and I am this way because of the bullying and sexual harassment I endured since I was in first grade. Well, I'm sorry about that, I know those types of, um, Traumatic events can really affect people later on in their life. I am an only child as well, so I was lonely when at home before my parents split, and I moved with my grandma from then on, which led me to going to that horrible school. I've let the words of my bullies get to me about not being pretty enough, being too skinny, and lacking curves, a big butt, and breasts. They even said I look like a boy and that no guy would ever want me because of my body type, and that black girls are supposed to be thick, not thin. Man, fuck what those people think. Fuck those uh, preconceived connotations that, you know, you should look this way because you're this race. Like, that's just bullshit. And my bullies were black people as well, by the way, so there's no mix-up. Yeah, so she's going to this black school. You know, they're bullying her. They're talking shit on her. And, you know, she's just had a pretty traumatic life up to this point. And, and all her social interaction seems like it's been bad so uh, i can imagine the levels of social anxiety this woman has anyway this has all led up to me being shy and having low self-esteem 
and letting guys use me for pictures starting at 13 years old. Wow, those guys should be in jail. But I had enough and recently put it to an end because I was looking for love the wrong way. Well, good for you that you realize that and being used instead. My mom has been diagnosed with cancer. Man, this your life is just walloping you. And I am scared to lose her and stay stressed 24-7. Yes, I mean, that's completely understandable. You know, those things that are completely out of our hands, like, you know, the health of your parents and just the health of other people that you care about in your life, that stuff is very stressful. I have a handful of friends, so I'm not totally alone. That's good. But it's hard to overcome my fears. Everyone else is getting married and having babies. You're only 19. And I want that so much. Yeah, you're only 19. You have plenty of time to do all that shit. First of all, just get over this social anxiety, you know, because you have a long life ahead of you. And uh, I know you've taken your fair share of lumps, but uh, you could turn this all around. I promise you. I want to work in order to help my grandma pay her bills and provide for my mom. I'm afraid of getting out there and facing mean people. I'm very sensitive and I'm afraid I'll mess up and live an unhappy life and be alone forever. I still have hope though. Okay, so mentally we have a lot of things in common. You know, we went through this bout of social anxiety um, because I do believe yours is just going to be a bout. I do believe you're going to get through this. And it seems like you're having a lot of what I call catastrophic thoughts, which is pretty much like uh, you can't stop thinking about the worst possible outcome. Like, Like you probably think about your mother dying and and like you said you think about ending up alone and you end you think about you know all of these catastrophic events that are very unlikely to happen in the you know current day right now so you kind of just be in a worry wart honestly i do think the first step for you here is really getting the job like from my own personal experience when i was going through that time of severe social anxiety One of the only things that helped me was getting a job. And yes, I was a fucking weirdo. Like, I remember going to the interview and feeling so weird, feeling so unlike anyone else and feeling like, uh, you know, they went around and said, you know, say some stuff about yourself. And I literally said, I like to read books for information. Like, that was the type of shit I was on at that time. I got the job. They liked me. I could tell that people thought I was a little bit weird, okay? Because socially, I was still fucked up. And, like, I would still get nervous. Like you said, I went and looked people in the eyes. And this was not normal behavior for me it was just something i had developed i don't know something just about the more time i spent there and the more confident i got in doing that job and dealing with customers you know knowing where various stuff was around the store knowing how i can help them something about just those things you know being able to interact with coworkers, managers customers it really helped put me back on track from a standpoint of uh of social anxiety not being there anymore of course making a little bit of money and uh bringing some food to the table is also going to make you feel a lot better about yourself so uh i do think you need to go out there and get a job i think that you should try and do something relatively simple i would i would suggest work in retail because in nature it actually is very social i don't think that you uh need the type of job where you're just by yourself all day and not having to talk to anyone because right now it seems like the social anxiety is the biggest thing holding you back in life you still have time to turn this around and and do it for your grandma do it for your mother you know like you say you want to help them out let them be your biggest inspiration draw power from them you're powerful you know you can do this you can look someone in the eye and talk to them I, i promise i believe in you so uh i hope things get better i'll be back tomorrow guys with um with another regular video if you have any advice for this young lady it would be great if you could put it down in the comments um i know a lot of people go through social anxiety these days with this being in such a technological world uh it'll get better i promise you all right i was broke i was depressed social anxiety felt like a loser felt like not human about five years later you know it got better and even like two years after that i was pretty cool with myself So thank you for riding in and uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.